So I think our future hope as Christians is effectively that our Exodus journey is, which we have experienced personally now, is in the future going to happen to the whole of creation. And that we are not just individually liberated from the things that we have done and the things that could have happened to us into a personal life of freedom so that we on our own or with our immediate family get to walk into the promised land but rather the whole of creation is on an exodus journey as well and that there are powers and threats and opposite demonic powers and opposition to god and his good rule over the world that are not just trying to attack the individual Christian or the individual unbeliever, but trying to attack the whole of creation, trying to sabotage what God has made and declared very good and say, we're going to infect this and destroy it with death. And what God is doing in Christ is is liberating creation itself from its bondage. This is how Paul puts it in Romans 8. Like they're in, creation's been groaning like in slavery. And then he talks about in childbirth. He said these two beautiful images of what it's like to be in this world. It's like beautiful but yet painful images. Like, yeah, we are like slaves who are giving birth at the same time. That's what the world is like. And what God has done in Jesus is he's provided a way for creation itself to be set free and liberated and effectively go on an exodus journey of its own until creation reaches promised land where itself is liberated that the the trees and the rivers and the mountains and the cosmos is liberated from the ongoing oppression and threat posed by death and hell and the devil and all his powers and that is a a much bigger sort of more the apocalyptic scope of a global scope of the gospel is much bigger than perhaps sometimes we couch it in terms of our personal salvation and so on which is still true but the whole of the earth is being liberated and i think that Paul, even in Romans in particular, shapes his account of what's going to happen in the future in light of an exodus journey that the world itself is going to go on. I just find that such a rich, it's so much a richer, deeper, you know, you read the Narnia stories and where, where, where C.S. Lewis ends, like it's, the whole of Narnia has been completely made new. It's his way of trying to get you to realize it isn't actually just about you having friendship with Aslan, it's about the entire world being made better and us living on it forever. And I think that's straight out of Paul, and I think it's straight out of the Exodus story, seen through the lens of what Jesus has done, not just for us, but for the whole world.